As we dive into the depths, deep into the realm of the predator, we take notice of potential prey, being lulled within the calm of the reef. Enter the lone predator who catches the signal of prey wafting throughout. The beast is horrendous, its gaping mouth synonymous with all that is grotesque in the animal kingdom. It uses its bulging eyes to scan the reef, focusing its scent organ to catch the scent of the prey. Despite its bulging girth and pronounced presence, the predator does not immediately rush in. It cautiously circles to to fro, fro to to to. <laughs> I said to <"Tutu."> to. <laughs> Sorry. As the play lies blissfully unaware, after dialing in the sensory overload, the beast can't help but to strike. The attack is relentless. Viciously, the jaws sink into the unaware prey. There is no escape for the unwary. In slow motion, we marvel at the daring power that stems from the jaw. The prey is mercilessly consumed. Ferocious and unwelding, we see the total immersion of predatory behavior unleashed. The prey is mercilessly consumed. All except that which is unedible and is discarded. Such is the tragic nature of life in the deep. Hi gang, this is Goundy. Thank you so much for watching my craziness right here. If you like it, please do me a favor and give me one of these. And if you would really like what I do and seeing the uh, different kind of silliness that I bring every two weeks, please subscribe to my face. And if you really just can't wait until you see me again, there might be something wrong with you. But I love you anyway. So ring that little bell. So you know every time I put up something off the wall. And if you really don't like what I do, hey, let me know. If you're really just going to get mean and nasty and break my heart and... All that and just hold it inside, you know, just don't say anything because I really can't take it right now. So please, just be gentle.